This is an old iTech World 120X. The one you see here currently is the newer 2023 model. They are exactly the same in terms of capacity according to iTech World. But you'll see this is the original iTech 120X and this is the new iTech 120X. So you can see how much a difference is between the newer 2023 iTech 120X. Have a look at the difference between these two batteries. Look at the difference between these two. That is, they have the same capacity, same cells according to iTech World. If I push this one directly behind that one, look at the difference in length. That'll fit finally now into the standard um, battery banks that I have in the uh, track trailer. And I won't have to actually make amendments to install the bigger ones. This is really right in the perfect market for many people, especially people converting their old camper trailer, um, the old camper trailer battery AGM to a lithium. Because these batteries also work on your standard non-lithium DC to DC chargers. And I have also tested that. They get to around about 90, around about 96% full charge. Um, they do slowly charge up over a long duration of time, but I mean, even if you only get say 95% capacity of your 105 amp hours out of, out of the, amp hours out of this, it's still better than an AGM. So, and it'll last much triple times the life of an AGM. Even if you do discharge them all the way down to, you know, 10%. So a lot of people say, um, you still shouldn't discharge lithium batteries all the way to zero. And that is true. Um, if you discharge them only 40%, you'll get like 8,000 cycles out of these as rated where if you drain these all the way to pretty much almost empty, you'll only get maybe 4,000. But even at 4,000, these batteries are gonna last anywhere nearly up to 10 years at that point. So I doubt you'll even have your camper at that point. Batteries are designed to be used, so use them. That's what I reckon. So the battery I had in here was a uh, um, full river. And these are actually very good American AGM batteries. Um, this is probably only done about maybe six or five cycles. So it's pretty much brand new. How heavy is an AGM battery? Let's have a look. 30.9 kilos for 100 amp, 105 amp, I think it is. 105 amp hour capacity. That's a lithium. How heavy do you think that is? 10.2. And this has the same 105 amp hour ratings in lithium batteries. It's actually, the AGM was actually three times, three times the weight. It's not uncommon knowledge that lithium's a lighter, but when you actually see it in person like this, well, on a camera, but in, in the actual process of weighing both an AGM, a lithium battery, and actually single weight differences, you don't realize how much of a difference that is. If I had put two 105 amp hour AGMs in, that would have been nearly 60 point, 61 kilos. But I can put two of these in, and that's not even, we're not even at the weight of a single AGM. So you can see the benefits um, in that already. Cable to something here to stop it. Yeah, so this fit in perfectly. Smashing stuff down there. This actually fit in. Um, Quite well actually. It's actually smaller than the 
the AGM that was in here. So I'll show you. You guys can see a bit of a gap here now, and there's a bit of a gap over. I don't know if you guys can really see that. It's a bit dark, but there's also a gap there along the old brackets. Normally, if you wanted to get the old battery in here, you would have had to cut these brackets to get it in. With the new ones, you've actually got that much play on each side. And it, the terminals can't push up and contact because there's a, there's a stopping platform there. So what I'll actually do is put some foam in here, probably from the boxes I'll transport it in to give it a bit of space. And that'll be it. And I'm going to install a second one. In this compartment here so that it already comes with all the wiring so i don't really need to do anything but to shut this up we're gonna tell it that we now have a lithium battery and once i have both in i'll have technically of 10 amp hours and we can go to the maximum current that this system supports lithium 210 300 uh, 30 amp hours And now it'll calibrate the new battery percentage once it does a full charge. So I'll recharge everything once um, we've got both batteries in. You just don't want the battery moving around or in transport it's not good for corrugations it can cause cabling to um, it can cause cabling to rub against stuff and then create short circuits possibility of it rubbing if it did have issues it would have i would have probably seen it on top of the agm the batteries are different sizes, so like physical dimensions. Pretty much that's done. My wife bought some of this stuff which we've been using to put on the ground of things in the cupboard. But I think I can use this to provide some padding on the bottom because this side doesn't actually have a mat. Like so it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm not really super concerned. And if I follow the same process as the other battery, it should technically go in that way. Not too worried about the other side because the other side actually had a battery on and I didn't have those terminals um, covered with tape. And go through it. Again, not too tight. Now there probably will be some comments about um, the diff the dis different different. Uh, sorry, I'm trying again. There might be comments about differences between the cable length to the inverter and all that that might come up. Um, I have thought about all that. For that reason, I ran the same amount of length on the other side, looped around. So. Uh, so the distance is the same for grommet because it takes up a lot of space. Got some material that can go over the top. Probably should put the grommet back in. Hopefully, I've left enough room around everything. If we get said grommet back in, that would be 
not funny but amusing if I didn't. Look how perfect that fits around the battery. So there you go. There's, an, there's a battery that fits the key around. It's a direct upgrade with no modifications needed to the um, battery area. Mm. Tucked it from that surface there. That's closed. Still usable for space around the edging if I really wanted to. But that's it. And we'll start kicking in power. Start charging, there we go, it's ramped up. And then I'll figure it out over the next 24 hours to what's exactly the battery percentage is at. That's all we need to do. That's it, job done. I just finished doing the uh, edit for the iTech World battery upgrade idea. So if you're in the market for some batteries and you're gonna go buy some iTech World batteries yourself, itechworld.com.au and use code at checkout, all three in action, get 5% off and recharge on your standard AGM um, DC to DC charger, this is an AC charger. Um, we've got an iTech world now. I've been doing some load tests to make sure that these things do the job, but it doesn't matter if you guys have the standard DC to DC projector 25 uh, amp charger, the one that you're probably familiar with here. Don't stress. These batteries will work. Change over it, no worries. So get onto it. Double up your storage and enjoy your camping life. See you guys around.